Welcome to GK Essentials, where we explore basics and useful tips for getting up and running on GKE. Tensor processing units, or TPUs, are chips that Google created to speed up machine learning tasks. TPUs make machine learning model work more efficiently by using hardware that is purpose-built to accelerate ML computation patterns. For example, matrix multiplication or communication amongst workers in a cluster. TPUs also have built-in high bandwidth memory. This allows it to run even the biggest and most demanding models. A TPU training supercomputer features hundreds of TPU chips connected together with a high-speed chip-to-chip interconnect called ICI. ICI links coupled with TPU software stack allows you to scale your workload from one chip to much larger scale with ease. Based on your workload, you can choose to create a specified subset of this supercomputer as instances, referred to as TPU slice. You can use a single TPU slice or even multiple TPU slices to accelerate your large scale training jobs, or use smaller slice shapes down to a single VM with a single chip for inference. Google Cloud TPUs are highly cost-efficient for training of large language models, vision transformer-based architectures, diffusion-based generative models, and recommendation systems. However, until now, orchestrating large-scale AI workloads with Cloud TPUs have been a cumbersome process. Users had to perform a significant amount of manual work to handle failure, logging, monitoring, and other basic operations. We have heard your concerns and we are here to help. With the announcement of cloud TPUs in Google Kubernetes Engine, we are providing the much anticipated support for GKE for cloud TPU v4 and the latest fifth generation cloud TPU v5e. With this, it will be easier than ever to develop and manage large scale AI workloads on cloud TPUs. Cloud TPUs in GKE combine the price to performance of Google's custom designed TPUs with the power of GKE. This means you can use the simplicity of GKE to run your AI workloads and take advantage of GKE features like auto-scaling, auto-provisioning, auto-repair, and auto-upgrade to ease the burden of day two operations and manage your resources more efficiently. You can also combine the power of TPUs and GKE ecosystem using tools like Weights and Bass's launch and managed services for Prometheus with TPUs in GK. If you're already using Kubernetes to run your web, stateless, stateful, batch, or other workloads, you already know how great it is to have a single platform to manage everything. Now, with the general availability of cloud TPUs on GKE, you can get all the same benefits for your AI workloads. Cloud TPU node pools can be auto-provisioned and auto-scale, so you only use the resources you need and never have to worry about over or under provisioning. And you can choose between on-demand, spot, and reserve cloud TPU instances to fit your budget and workload needs. GK Node Pool groups compute resources that are managed by Kubernetes to schedule workloads on. Single host TPU slice node pools can scale like normal node pools. A TPU slice is an interconnected group of one or more TPU devices. A TPU device is another name for a single TPU VM or host. For TPU v4, this is a v4 by 8, which has 8 tensor core, 4 chips, and the topology of 2 by 2 by 1. TPU topology refers to how the TPUs are connected together. TPUs can be connected in different ways based on application needs. A multi-host TPU slice is a single atomic unit. That is, if any of the TPU devices within the node group fails, the entire slice cannot be used. A multi-host TPU slice also can be auto-scaled after provisioning. The TPU chips in the slice are interconnected in a certain physical mesh defined by the topology. Therefore, a multi-host TPU slice in GKE is represented with a single atomic Kubernetes node pool. For example, a TPU v432 has a topology of 2 by 2 by 4 meaning that there are four TPU devices connected with high-speed interconnect. Each device has four TPU chips. Each chip has two tensor cores. Q is an open source project started by the Kubernetes Batch Working Group for fair sharing and quota management for batch and ML workloads on Kubernetes. You can use Q for scheduling jobs on TPU nodes. TPU logs in GKE are automatically collected by cloud logging and available in Log Explorer. 
you can write your log to standard error and standard out. You can also forward these logs to PubSub, Cloud Storage, BigQuery, or any other third-party platform. This has generally been a challenging task in TPU workloads. A workload in TPU is spread across many VMs. A centralized logging system will help speed up the finding and debugging of potential issues. Errors are automatically detected in logs and visualized as histograms to give a view of historical frequency. This lets you quickly identify common problems and the history of the error. Many metrics are exported to cloud monitor, like duty cycle, which indicates percent of time the TPU is being actively utilized. This helps determine the efficiency of our TPU usage. These metrics can also be used to configure Kubernetes horizontal pod auto-scaling. TPU V5e is our latest offering in our TPU AI supercomputer family. Cloud TPU V5e is designed to enable the next generation of AI applications. It's our most cost-efficient, scalable, and versatile cloud TPU AI acceleration platform to date. TPU V5e offers up to two times higher training performance and up to 2.5 times inference performance per dollar compared to TPU V4 for LLMs and generative AI model. In this video, we talked about how TPU and GKE work together to give you the power to build the AIML platform of the future. To learn more about TPUs and GKE, click the links in the description below.